वेलकम फ्रेंड्स टू माई चैनल द इलेक्ट्रिकल गाय फ्रेंड्स दिस इज़ पार्ट टू ऑफ इलेक्ट्रिकल ड्राॅइंग आई ऑलरेडी अपलोडेड वीडियो ऑफ पार्ट वन इफ़ यू हैवन वॉच पार्ट वन वीडियो देन यू कैन वॉच द वीडियो ऑन माई चैनल फ्रेंड्स दिस फर्स्ट सर्किट इज़ अवर बेसिक सर्किट वी ऑलरेडी सीन दिस सर्किट इन पार्ट वन बट लेट अस डिस्कस दिस अगेन इन दिस एल वन एंड एल टू आई मीन दिस इज़ अवर फेज लाइन एंड दिस इज़ अवर न्यूट्रल लाइन If controlling is on single phase supply, then L1 will be our phase supply, and L2 will be our neutral supply. If this controlling is on two phase, then L1 will be our one phase, and L2 will be our second phase. Now you can see one indication is used here. I mean, one lamp is connected here, and one switch is connected. Now you can see connection of a lamp is done through a switch, and switch is in open condition right now. In this condition, this lamp will not glow. When we press the switch. this lamp will start glowing but when we again press this switch to turn off then this lamp will turn off this circuit is also same as previous one only a slight difference is there in place of lamp control relay is connected here and in place of switch push button is used it will work in same way when we press the push button then control relay will turn on and when we release push button then control relay will turn off friends in this circuit nothing is told about incoming power supply from where incoming power supply is coming and this supply is ac or dc but let us look at this circuit in this circuit it is told that from where power supply is coming and this supply is ac or dc here h1 and h2 this is incoming power supply in series of h1 and h2 one fuse is connected after fuse one step down transformer is placed here You can see on secondary side of step down transformer directly from fuse only power supply is going for controlling. Now see here this transformer here is connected with the earth and from here only it is made neutral power supply. You can see this indication lamp here. This indication lamp is controlled by a switch. I told you this before that when we press switch indication lamp will glow and when we release this indication lamp will turn off. Controlling of this circuit is done by AC power supply because transformer is used here. As we know that transformers work on AC power supply only. Now this circuit here, this will work on DC because battery is used here. This battery is of 24 volt DC. Now this indication lamp here, this will be also of 24 volt because supply which comes from here is of 24 volt. So indication lamp which is connected here is of 24 volt DC. This circuit will also work as same. If we turn on the switch then this indication lamp starts glowing and when we turn off switch indication lamp also turn off now let us look at this circuit in this one stop push button and two start push buttons are connected and one control relay is also there now to turn on this control relay two start push buttons are given start push button a and start push button b but to turn off this only one stop push button is given how it is going to work let's see If we press start push button A then this control relay will turn on and on releasing this it will turn off Similarly if we press start push button B then control relay will turn on and on releasing it it will turn off Why on releasing it goes off because this is push button we need to keep pressing this push button to keep this on Here stop push button is given so to turn off or to break this circuit we have to press this stop push button but here holding circuit is not there so there is no meaning of this stop push button now look at this circuit in this you can see three stop push buttons are connected and three start push buttons are connected one contactor is also used here and one overload relay auxiliary contact of this contactor is used here this is normally open auxiliary contact now from l1 power supply will come the stop push button is nc so current will flow forward again this is nc current will flow forward similarly this one is also nc so current will flow forward now there are three ways for current one current will flow from here and goes here one goes here and one goes here similarly power supply will go to here also now on these four position power supply is there but current cannot flow further because all the three start push buttons are in open condition and this one is our auxiliary contact This is also in open condition. Among these three, if we press any one start push button, then this contactor will turn on. Suppose we pressed this start push button. When we press this start push button, power supply will flow from here and goes to contactor. Then this contactor gets picked up 
I mean it will turn on. When this contactor is picked up, this auxiliary contact here, this is auxiliary contact of this contactor. So when this contactor turn on, this will also get changed. I mean from NO to NC. Now if we even release this start push button, then also this contactor will remain on because this NO here has become NC now and power supply is flowing from here to this contactor. Now we have to turn off this. Then among these three, press any one stop push button. This contactor will turn off. Similarly, this start push button or if we press this start push button, then this contactor will turn on. And to turn off this, among these three, press any one stop push button, this contactor will turn off. Now you can see here M is written. It means this contactor is used for motor. If there is overload on motor, I mean high current flows through motor, then this overload relay which is connected here, this will become NC to NO. I mean it will open. When it gets opened, power supply is coming to this circuit from front, but here neutral will break. When neutral breaks, this contactor will turn off. That is motor will turn off. Due to turning off of this contactor, motor also turns off. So this circuit also goes off. Now look at this circuit. In this circuit, we can stop power supply only from one point. And from one point, we can start. For this contactor, auxiliary contact is used here. And overload relay is also there. But what is this? Friends, this is an indication lamp. On this, R is written. It means this is red indication lamp. Power supply is open from here and from here also it is open. It means till here power supply won't come. When motor is turned off, then this indication lamp will not glow because current is not coming till here. Now we will press start push button. This contactor here will turn on. When it is on, this becomes NO to NC. When this becomes NC, power supply will flow from here and this will become on. Similarly, this is holding circuit. In this holding circuit, a loop is given here. So from here, power supply goes here and goes to this contactor. Even on releasing this start push button, power supply will go here and contactor remain picked up. It will remain on until we do not press stop push button. When we press stop push button, whole circuit will go off and again this contactor and this indication lamp will turn off. Now you can see overload relay is also used here. In overload condition, it will break the circuit. Now just look at this circuit. In this, stop push button, start push button, one contactor and one overload relay is connected. Here is holding circuit. All these things were in previous circuit also, but in last circuit, here, indication lamp was connected. At that time, indication lamp was working. Here we connected indication lamp before. When this contactor turn on, then along with this, this indication lamp starts glowing. It means this was on indication lamp. Now look at this circuit. Here we didn't connected indication lamp. In place of this, here we connected indication lamp. Which indication lamp is this one? G is written. It means it is green indication lamp. Look, here NC contact is used. Now see, power supply we have here, directly with this, this indication lamp is connected. This is NC auxiliary contact. It means circuit is complete. Current is flowing from here and going to this indication lamp. When this contactor is in off condition, this indication lamp will always glow. When we turn on this, contactor will turn on. Then changes occurs here. This NO auxiliary contact becomes NC and this NC will become NO. It will break. This will break, so indication lamp will turn off and this lamp will not glow. Now look at this circuit. In this circuit, stop, start, one contactor and one overload relay is connected. Auxiliary contact of this contactor is used here and one red indication lamp is connected here. One push button is connected here and an additional circuit is made here. In this, one loop is also provided. That is, from output terminal of push button, loop is given to this indication lamp. So this one is almost same circuit. How? When this contactor turn on, indication lamp will glow as seen in previous circuit. And when contactor turn off, indication lamp also turn off. So it is same circuit. Only one test circuit is added here. So what is this test circuit? What happens sometimes this indication lamp becomes faulty or it does not glow or we need to check whether indication lamp is working or not. To check this, here one test push button is given. When we press this test push button, then it will open from here and this line here will connect here. That is, this circuit here will complete and current flow from here to this indication lamp. When this indication lamp gets power supply, it will turn on and this indication lamp starts glowing. 
So what does it tells us? That indication lamp is working properly. Whether this phase supply and neutral supply is coming to this circuit or not, we can check this also through this push button. So here is this push button. On pressing this, this indication lamp will glow and we came to know that indication lamp is OK and incoming power supply is coming here. Friends, now look at this circuit. Here incoming power supply is L1 and L2. With L1, one fuse is connected. After fuse, one normally open contact is connected. Whose contact is this? It is of CR, that is control relay. This control relay we used here, auxiliary contact of this is used here. After this, here a contactor is connected. For what this contactor is used? It is used for motor. And with neutral terminal of contactor also, one fuse is used. And this is directly connected with neutral supply. Similarly, in parallel to this circuit, another circuit is made. And in this, here is one fuse. It means with phase supply, one more fuse is connected. After this, a transformer is connected. This transformer here. After transformer, one more fuse is connected. So you can see this circuit and this circuit are in parallel with each other. This controlling is done here is done on primary side of transformer. On secondary side of transformer, a stop push button, start push button and one control relay and also one overload relay is connected. After this, neutral supply has been grounded. Here, if used is written. It is optional that we want to ground it or if we don't want, we can leave it. After this, here auxiliary contact is used. Whose it is? M is written. It means this contactor here, auxiliary contact of this is used here. Now let's see how it works. Right now power supply is on. Incoming power supply will come till here. It goes to this transformer. In transformer, there is induction. Due to induction, power supply goes to secondary and after this power supply comes to this point and it comes till here. Now supply will not go here and here also. It means in this condition, this transformer is only on and there is supply on secondary and incoming supply is there till here. In incoming, contactor which is connected for motor, it will not turn on because here auxiliary contact is used. Whose auxiliary contact is this? CR, that is control relay. Auxiliary contact of control relay is used here. To turn on this contactor here, what we have to do? See, to turn on this contactor, this auxiliary contact here need to be NC. This is auxiliary contact of CR, that is control relay. If we want to turn on auxiliary contact of this control relay, then how we will do it? By pressing this start push button here. So first of all, we will press start push button. Then power supply goes here and control relay will turn on. When control relay turn on, this auxiliary contact of control relay here will become NO to NC and when this becomes NC, power supply goes here and this main contactor here, I mean contactor we used for motor, this will also turn on. Along with this, auxiliary contact of main contactor here, this will also becomes NC. When this becomes NC, power supply will flow from here and it goes to control relay. Now this control relay will continuously get power supply, so this will remain on. This remains on, this is why this contactor also remains on. Now we have to stop this, then we have to press stop push button. Now there is one condition. Suppose we press this start push button and this control relay turned on. But by chance this main contactor here does not turn on. Then what will happen? Look, if this main contactor does not turn on, start push button we pressed here. Till the time we press this, this control relay remain on and this contact also remain on. That is, it will be NC and power supply will come till here. But sometimes this does not turn on. Now when we release this, then again this control relay will turn off. Why it is turned off? For holding this control relay, we used circuit of main contactor here. And this is why this control relay will not hold. Because main contactor did not turn on. It does not turn on, so this will also turn off. So this whole circuit will again turn off. So what we call this is interlocking. Okay friends, I am ending this video here. Friends, this circuit here, you have to solve this. And after solving, Comment the answer in the comment section. So how to solve this? Just look at this first. This 12 volt battery here, connection of this is done with two push buttons and two control relays. And one indication lamp is connected here. Now how and what you have to comment? Look, you have to go in cross. Like push button 2 off is written here. Now what happen is, this push button 2 here, this is an off condition. Similarly come here, push button 1 off. This is also off. It means answer here will be 
that is answer number 1 answer of answer number 1 is whether indication lamp will remain on or off you have to comment that this indication lamp will remain on or off in this condition so how you will comment look first condition is push button 2 is off and push button 1 is also off that is both are off in this condition what is the status of indication lamp this indication lamp will remain on or off you have to tell this answer to me you can answer this as answer number 1 similarly in answer number 2 push button 2 is an off condition it means we do not touch this push button and push button 1 is on it means we press this then in this condition what will happen this indication lamp will glow or not you have to give this answer as answer number 2 similarly in answer number 3 you have to tell me push button 2 is on that is we are pressing this push button but push button 1 here we are not pressing this in this condition what will happen indication lamp will glow or not you have to answer this in answer number 3 similarly in answer number 4 you have to comment that if push button 2 is on we press this push button but we press push button 1 also it means we are pressing both the push buttons in this condition this indication lamp will glow or not you have to tell this in answer number 4 by commenting on or off friends you can take screenshot of this question so that it will be easy for you to solve and to answer it friends i hope you like this video if you like this video please give like share and comment on this video and don't forget to subscribe my channel and if you really like this video please share with your friends thanks for watching this video friends if you want to watch part one of this video then click on the right hand side video to watch